Hey everybody, and welcome to Hexiled Gaming. I'm Scott, and I've got a match of X-Wing 2nd Edition for you here on Tabletop Simulator. This match between Ali Pocknell, world champion, on the left, and Sebastian Nunez on the right. This is a Kyber Premier League match. Six of the best players in X-Wing playing round robin uh, over the next few weeks. This is round two. Ali with Republic Aces, Rick, Obi, and Anakin. Um, love to see the mixed ships here. We've got an N1, Ada, and a Delta. On the other side, Sebastian with Republic Beef. Got three heroic Red Squadron experts, Tracer Thread Zari, and C3PO Rose. Nice to see Zari out here. Um, not only can she be squirrely herself, but with the ability to hand out target locks with tracers, it gives her even more utility. Rose with C-3PO, just incredible for 30 points. And we are off. I was commenting earlier on Ollie's deployment heat offset his aces by like I think it's five degrees so they're not straight perpendicular to the board edge and he's done that I assume because it helps you line up your bullseye abilities we've got CLT for Anakin we've got Adas with their bullseye abilities or with their extra dice in the bullseye not to mention R7 A7 auto blasters for Obi Predator for Rick. R2 for some regen. R5 on Anakin for the same reason. All right. Classic. Classic ace play. Typo in the chat. Trying to place bets on what, how often I'm going to mix up Anakin and OBO. I, I, I was talking about that earlier because I'm used to Anakin being in the Ada and Obi being in the Delta. I think we've seen Tabi flying this triple Republic ace archetype, but with those two switched. We'll also see how many times I forget Obi's ability. After you or a friendly Anakin Skywalker at range 0 to 3 executes a maneuver, if there are more enemy ships than other friendly ships at range 0 to 1 of that ship, you may spend one force point. If you do, that ship gains a focus. That's not fully execute. You can bump and do it. And you can do it with stress, right? Because you gain a focus token, not perform an action. Let's just remind ourselves, sorry. Do not perform your skip action or your perform action step. Yeah, okay. So you can bump and still perform an action. Means Obi can focus lock in the same turn for one force, yeah. Because it's outside of your perform action step as well. Just got to train myself to think about when Obi is moving into those positions where there are, where he's at range of enemy ships. Asking yourself that question. Do you want to use Obi's ability here on Anakin or Obi? Rocker, reminding us that Obi spins the force as well, even when Anakin gets the token. And I imagine that's why he's brought patience, because he may be doing that. Lining people up to face Rick first. Obi's kind of hinting in that direction as well. Look at Rose. Braze, br brave Rose over here. Standing alone against Anakin Skywalker.
Obi nopes out of there, turns away. Two turn from Rick. And a boost. All right. Sixty-eight minutes left. Not super committed to any direction for Sebastian. He's discouraging Rick and Obi from engaging at the top. Rose feels a little isolated. Kind of hard to bring her back in. with the other ships. And I think this is... This is what Ollie wants. You know, he wants to poke around the outside, find an isolated ship, delete it. Does the two hard from yellow hit that rock? Right, because this seems like... Oh boy. That's not a shape in X-Wing. Maybe so. You could... You could turn green in keep the stress. Maybe bank Zari. Alright. Nope. He opts to get rid of the stress. Goes for the bank. Takes a focus. Two bank from Zari as well. Splitting up a little bit. That could be an advantage for Ollie. Green and Zari at the top. Rose, yellow, red squadron all at the bottom. Do you want to go for a boost? Yep. The two hard fit, says Rocker. Yep. I never doubted it. Going to coordinate a focus to red. C-3PO gives you the calculate. Five straight from Rick. Full throttle evade. Purple Talon there from Obi. Spins the Force Point. Thinking about where he wants to be for next turn. Could stay here. He doesn't have a lot of sensitive controls. What are they called? Intuitive controls. Options, but I mean, if you're if you're planning on boosting or barrel rolling in the system phase, you might as well do it now. When it doesn't cost a force point. One bank from Anakin. Just just probing.
think when he flipped that force point on Anakin, it flipped one on Obi as well. Yeah, there he goes. He's got it. All right. So no shots for Anakin. But he's he's facing down three ships. He might end up moving fast and trying to dodge at least one of those. Obi and Rick need to well, Rick might three hard in. In theory, this is good for Ollie because the formation is split up. I don't think we're gonna see green YOLO over that rock to come after Anakin, although it's a possibility. Especially with C3PO on the field. If you could get close enough, you could go over the rock and get a coordinated focus or something, but I think you you're going to be too far away. It's not worth. But you've... Ollie is already benefiting from you having to make those tough decisions. All right, you've got sort of two distinct groups now. I'm not even sure the straight works. Let's pretend it does. Threaten Obi with those two. Playing aces, you move nice and slow. Keep your arcs wide. Any pre-position from Obi? I guess he could... Roll ship left and hard one. I mean, <laughs> Ooh. or he could be in here. Is this the last premiere match this round? Let me double check. I think so. Yes. Garrett Chan and Jackson had a fantastic match on Rookie's channel. If you haven't seen that yet, uh, the archive should still be up. But that I, I skipped through that one a little bit because it was after my bedtime, but uh, that one went back and forth a lot. So right now, catch on top, 2-0. and Ollie lost his first match, so if he wins this one, he'll be 1-1. One one. Sebastian, 1-0, and could go 2-0 and with this match, or 1-1. One and one. Yep, there's the hunt for Anakin. We give yellow an action. It's a focus. He already has a lock. Red's in the back in case Anakin tries to move fast along the board edge. Yep, there's that one bank from the green T-70. Have you blocked Zari? Well, you can't block Zari. What am I talking about? Takes a focus. 
You didn't block Zarya anyway. Two straight. Focuses up to get the tracers ready. Potentially. Actually, this is a bad place to tracer because you'd probably only get a target lock for the green T70. Takes the evade. Three hard from Rick. Fits beautifully. Could he boost into range? Look. I know the importance of having R2, the regen, on Rick in a purely ace list with only three ships but man it'd be nice to have r2c4 here have your little focus mod on rick oh well hard turn from annie picks the right direction does not go along the right board edge so can be safe from red if that's what he wants could fine-tune boost barrel roll left he'd lose his arc Could boost barrel roll, get out of Rick's or uh, Rose's arc. Weighing those options. Yep, here's fine tune controls. Barrel rolls first. A look at his options. Could just stay there. But I mean, he's still in both arcs, right? Uh, I don't know if that helped him a whole lot. We'll see. Maybe he's out of range. Oh, Rick, no shot. Obi. Unobstructed shot into the T70 in the back. 2v3 at range 3. Wow, 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 wow. Does not like the dice box. Rude. Doesn't spin a force point. Triple natural evades from the T70. Here's the tracer shot back. One hit. Well, there's an evade token there. I, I don't blame him for this because if you're going to take... A shot with the a wing you might as well deny the range bonus you might as well deny or add a third dice for your attack oh t70 doesn't need that target lock hit it crit naturally spins the evade token takes nothing Well, Rose has arc. No rerolls, though. Don't need them. Two hits. Anakin. Four dice. Range three. Spins the focus. Takes nothing. T70. Range three. 3v4. You got two force points on. Ooh, nice. Oh, never mind. This is the one with the lock. All right, four dice, you need two paint, get
gets it. Spins a force point. That does put him down one force point going into the next turn. Oh well. But this is Extreme Maneuver Anakin. With Obi on the board, although they're not in range 3, so that won't matter much. But the point is, there's a lot you can spend force points on, so being down one does matter. Great pressure there from Sebastian. As much as I hate to see the ships split up, um, he did a good job keeping Anakin running. Now the question is, do you do you switch targets? Because Rick's almost certainly coming through the middle. It's harder to anticipate what Anakin's doing. He may just run to the left. So as good as that pressure was from Sebastian last turn, now you've got some big decisions to make. Because um, Anakin could easily just turn in. Rick probably does a fast maneuver to get full throttle, although he does not have to. So, you know, he, he probably banks Rose to get in action. And then, do you hard turn to threaten Rick? Oh man, bringing Zari in. I don't know what Rick... You can go slow to get behind a rock. You can run this direction, I guess. I just want to appreciate this drawing. That's probably one of my better ones. Sorry, turn in is risky given the OB auto blaster. An auto blaster cares about oh, I'm looking at marksmanship. I was like, I don't see the word. The, the defender's front arc. So you can't just rotate your turret to the back. It's not outmaneuver, which I say because I get that mixed up a lot. Cares about being in outside of the front arc, not being outside of all arcs. Sorry, turn in is risky because the OB auto bless. But there's there's nowhere you can go that you're safe, right? OB can roll right and go on that side of the rock and get behind you if you turn the other direction, or OB can go left and if you turn away, he's behind you. Intuitive controls, he's gonna be behind you. He can be behind you. Is that the world champion? It is. Playing aces.
anything else we can do in the system phase. Barrel roll either direction from OV probably coming. You could just stay here in one heart, I guess. Let's look at the blues on rows. One bank's one, two, three, war one, two, forward. Gonna one bank. A real mystery there. You could all you, you could 4k yellow if you want to get real weird. Coordinate a focus from Rose, then K-turn. Does the boost from Obi-Wan. Okay, really committed to that top corner. Three straight boost. Ooh. Going in for a potential block there with yellow. There's the coordinate. Gives yellow the focus just in case. Just in case. Three hard to the right from Zari, so she is coming into the middle. And she's got to feel pretty confident given where Obi is. Thinking about whether you want to reposition. Boosting could get you further away from Obi from potential. I mean, I guess Obi could have purple taloned here. So you could get out of auto blaster range with a boost. But when you're facing aces, it's a good idea to back your arcs up. Makes them a little more difficult to dodge. Did the green X-Wing move? Not yet. Still debating the... Vectored... Refined Gyro Stabilizers. Wow, I haven't said that in a long time. So stays right there. One bank from green. Ooh, you... You probably know... Oh, he might have been debating the foils. He cannot roll. I'm going to try and boost. And does. Alright, let's see if Ollie and Obi, Ollie Wan Kenobi, can get over there. Obi, three hard. So he is behind. Would a boost get him, Mark? At least on Zari? Oh, he boosted in system phase, so he can't. Well, purple target lock? Nope, goes for a roll. Does that... Uh, no, doesn't get a mark. Four forward from Rick. There's that full throttle evade. Takes the focus. All right, Anakin. It's up to you now. Three bank. Okay. Gets past 
the yellow T70 can boost out of Rose's arc potentially. Could you boost right barrel roll and line up a bullseye? Oh, that's kind of weird. You could maybe barrel roll right, boost left, and shoot Nazari. That seems not preferable. There's the fine-tuned boost. Goes for a normal boost. Mariner in the chat talking about extreme maneuvers. Yeah, I, I honestly forgot. But you are getting pretty far down there on your force points. So here we go. 3v2 on the red T70. Two hits. Oh, one of eight takes one. Obi's going to check nothing. So Rick. Yuck. Predator. Spins his focus. Two hits. Two Natty evades from the T-70. All right. Range three. Is that obstructed? Unobstructed! Wow! And look at this! The natties! Rick, looking for a natural evader too, finds him. Spins the, f the evade token. Takes nothing. But that does set Zari up for a better shot. Now this is not a... Oh boy, do you want to trace her? Yeah. All right. And Zari did a three, but Rick did a four, so he'll get all of his dice. Man! Oof! As bad as that shot was for Zari, it does hit. So we're going to see ships at range three of Rick getting target locks. But most importantly, that red, red squadron expert... Look at that rose with the target lock. That's cute. It's quite the collection there. All right. Double modded shot into Rick. Now, this is regen Rick. So he can take a punch. Yep, going to take that double modded shot instead of shooting into Anakin range one. Oh boy, target lock. Didn't matter for this shot. Oof. Takes three half points on Rick for now, but again, that can be undone next turn with R2. No shots for Rose or Yellow. So we go back to dials. All 
right. So Obi has gotten behind some ships. Next turn, he might start getting real critty with it. Could turn around green with like a Talon if you want. Is Key Talon roll yellow? Do you even want to? So you could turn around, oh boy. You could turn around yellow and face your arc this direction and even help out with Rose if she wants to coordinate. Or you could just turn three and start heading into the middle to try and cut off Obi. Probably a one bank with Rose. Again, you could 4k. If you're expecting fast maneuvers from Rick, Anakin can't do much to combat that 4k. Oh man, I'm liking this more and more. The turnarounds. Face that direction. Because that's where this fight is moving. Talon yellow, 4K red. Yeah, I like that. One hard than extreme. Oh boy, hard to plan around that. But him being one force point down can cause some trouble. Ooh, Talon rolls green. Not gonna let Obi move around here behind the line. Fun Dan in the chat, welcome aboard. Yep, so we had the talent in the K turn. To Rose. Oh. So Rose moved after those two T70s, which means she's not going to be much help in terms of coordination. Here's Zari. The five forward and a focus is out of tracers. Let me go ahead and denote that. Think about whether you want to turn that arc backwards in case you catch. Yep. And that's what he's going to. It's more likely that Obi is in your back arc than somehow Anakin or Rick stay in this bottom corner, I think. Rocker says, I think. Stressing, not stressing Rose was a decent choice there, yeah. Because it gets you out of this one bank, one bank, one bank cycle. There's Rick. Takes off. Did he re... Yeah, he did regen. There you go. Gets his points back. Zero to zero. Big ol' three turn there from Obi. Should be able to boost and get a shot into green. Does have to respect Zari. Oh, he's coming after Zari. Got the bullseye lined up. 
Ooh, Anakin is blocked. Now you could use Obi's ability to get a focus, right? Probably. Obi, auto blaster. Marksmanship and R7. Wow, the disrespect though. Yep, marksmanship and R7 for two crits. Avoids the hit, takes the two on Zari. That's half points. And those are going to stick. Early lead for Ollie, 19 to 0. Rick and Anakin don't have anything. So Zari's going to shoot out the back. Oh, the troll roll, although there's no optics here, so no trolling. Triple natural evades for stealth device Obi Wan. Obstructed shot into Annie. Trail mix. One hit. One evade and an eyeball. That's all you need. Ooh, gonna shoot onto Rick. Now, what speed did Rick go? He did a three bank. Okay. One hit. Oof. Blanks into blanks. And Rick with the single evade. He had an evade token, so you would have had to have done three to make it through. All right, and that's it for that round. Yeah, no punishment there for the block. Unfortunate. But now Ali is in that aces position, right? He got the points. He does not need to force engagements now. Rick could run away, get another shield back. Intimidation Zari there would have been huge. That's a good point. It is a 199 point list, so you'd have to think about losing tracers to get that in there. Green might have to just hold on to that stress and hard to hard to turn probably. Does Rose do a hard two? I guess if you moved red first. I don't know, man. Seems like you should be turning into the middle to point stuff towards Obi. I think Obi's going to system phase, boost right, hard turn right, something like that. Just get out of there. Or maybe move really fast forward.
I guess green... Green could bank right and try to catch Rick going across the top. Not great. Yeah, I would. Yeah, I kind of. I don't expect Zari to get arc, but I like that pursuit. All right, coming down to 27 minutes, 0 to 19. There we go, system phase reposition from Obi. Going to roll left and backwards. Now, what are you preparing for there? We'll find out. There's the bank and a barrel roll from green, so the foils are closed. But he likes that angle. Rose. All the ships are stressed. So not much you can coordinate, but the focus is nice. Bump there from yellow. Two bank from Zari. Focus boost. All right. Kind of far away, but we'll see. Yep, Rick getting that shield back. The regen is over. But I do like Green's position here. A potential threat to Rick. Not this turn, but later. Does he want to roll right? Get himself some more distance? Nope, goes for the boost. All right. Gives himself a three hard turn next turn. Potentially. Allegedly. Obi with a two bank. Okay. Um, hmm. That yellow T70 is the only real threat. You may already be out of that. Roll left. Nope. Oh. What do I know? Boosts forward. T 
two turn from Annie. Whew. Boy, there's, there's a lot of things facing that direction. A lot. There's two ships. You could do extreme maneuver. Goes for the roll first, and then a boost. Thinking about an extreme maneuver or a boost left normal. Maybe you'll just be in uh, Rose's Arc. You'll take those odds. Yeah. Is he out of Red's Arc? I don't, I don't think he dodged Red. Yeah, that boost from Rick instead of the barrel roll. Gets this ship a range three unobstructed shot. Oh boy. Does he have a lock? Yes, he does. That tracer, though, results in one. There's the bait token up there. Oh well. No shot there from yellow. Zari. Gonna take the range three unobstructed shot into Anakin. 2v4. One hit, no optics. Would two have made a difference? Yes. Red, range one into Anakin. Woo. 4v3, now this is unmodded. Yeah. Rose, range one, with, a, with two rerolls, right? There's two friendly ships in the arc. Spins the calculate. For the focus for three. All right, Anakin, let's see some blanks. Get one through. Plink on the shield. Back to dials. Oh, heroic. Yes, Larry, thank you. I'm in the Fun Walk BB Rookie head space these are heroic red squadron experts if you roll all blanks just retry all right let's get these dice out of here get the heroic counter out boy zari I guess yellow's down here to help. Is Zari stressed so you could two turn? Your arc is in the back, so you either focus rotate or boost rotate and just be without tokens. 
to deal with OB. Um, you could turn away. Which is not a bad call, but you just get so far away that your shots aren't super meaningful. One forward from yellow. I kind of like the turn away because you may be able the following turn to deal with Anakin. Depending on what he does. Oh man, this this again, this feels very favorable to Ollie because green is isolated. Red and Rose are heading one direction. Now you can kind of meet up with them with yellow, but I think you need yellow to cover Zari. Red and green go play with Rick. Yeah. I like that plan. Oh, what about like a roll boost? Oh, gonna boost rotate. Three bank foils opened from green. Takes a focus. Two bank from red already has a lock. Could focus here, and you maybe even coordinate a boost from Rose. Get you even further in that corner. Goes for the lock. I think I would have boosted. Ooh, bump on Obi. Does he have an auto blaster into Rose? I think so. Oh no. That's not great. For Sebastian, there's the three bank from Rick. I'm imagining a boost from Red. Would that have been better? Also, both Green and Rick did three banks, so Rick's ability is offline. Two Reds, two Greens. Very smart move there from Sebastian to move so fast with green. I would normally say move slow, keep your arc wider, but he's playing to the weakness of Rick. And Rick can't double position, so he boosts or barrel rolls or focuses. Oh, did he get out? Oh, it's going to be close. It is so close. We'll get a better look at that. In the engagement, Anakin does indeed disengage. He could extreme maneuver boost if he thought that would benefit him.
All right, Obi's going to start us off. Three dice range one auto blaster. No marksmanship does have R7A7 though. With three results, there's, I mean, unless you just want the crit to go through, you don't need to force it. Checking for rerolls. Yellow and red are in arc. Does not R7A7. Rose gonna reroll one. Spend it, take two, and that is half points. Which is gonna put Ollie at 34 to zero. Now half of Rick is only 26. So now catching Rick here. Unless you kill him. Ooh, three hits! Natties, after all those mods, Rick um, did do a faster maneuver than this ship. Ooh, he is down past half. Ooh, is that right? No. Does catch Rick at range one, 4v2, because they both did three speed maneuvers. Two hits. Spin the lock. Oh boy, so you're guaranteed to get one through. Taken two. Rick on one hull. Still alive. And Ollie still leading by eight. But Rick is being hunted. And that boost means he's going over a rock this turn on one hole. So a dice roll from Rick next turn is what's going to determine who has the lead before engagement. So I almost wonder, do you start turning around? Do a 4K from green. Oh man, 11 minutes. <laughs> Is it Sebastian's turn to run? You really have to bank on Rick dying there. Red can turn in to make sure. Okay. Rose is kind of on death's door too. Two hull with a stress. Would love to probably one bank right. Does that clear the rock? Does a two hard clear for Rick? Let's take a look. I don't think so. Yeah, uh, maybe it, you do have a one on the in one, right? No, never mind. They're too fast for that. Under 10 minutes left. Very, very important turn. 
could be two rounds left in this game. Obi spending a force point system phase, intuitive controls. Rolls left, maybe going to turn right. There's the Talon from green. What's he setting up for? Seems like next turn is bad in that position. There's red. Goes for the focus. One bank from Rose, who will no doubt... I, I was wondering if he would coordinate in the yellow and then 4k. It is a coordinate, and the only thing in range is yellow. 4K, yep. Some good coverage there. Zari, too hard left. Ooh. Focus boost left. Yes, sir. I'm just imagining that one hard, too hard from Obi. And even if you get the block, it's still an awful... For you, it's still a really powerful auto-blaster shot coming into Rose. Alright, Rick, rolling for his life! He's fine. Now, Red could finish him off. Rick did do a 5-speed, so he will get his... All of his dice. Anakin. Turns in. He's prob he's out of Yellow's arc. You could stay back here and take a pot shot into Zari. Nope. Goes for the boost. And the barrel roll looking to line up that bullseye. Have we seen a CLT yet on Anakin? We will now. Two bullseyes. For the price of one. Into Zari. Not spending. Zari spins the focus. I was thinking about taking one to get a better shot, but does not do that. Obi does bullseye does not have bullseye on Rose, and it's range two. Only two dice. Oh, goes for patience. Well, that was start of engagement, but. R7. Puts the crit through a direct hit would kill Rose. Stabilizer. Zari's attack, one hit, so the focus wouldn't have helped. Two evades. Green's got nothing. Yellow has a range two into Obi, range three into Anakin. It's going to be 3v4, 3v... Yeah, 3v4 no matter what you shoot. Goes into Anakin. Spends the focus for two. Anakin, four dice. Takes one. And that's half points. Shot on Rick. 
One hit, spins the lock. Three hits. All right, Rick. Four dice at range three. You need two evades. Gets the two evades. Spins the evade token, takes nothing. Under four minutes remain. But now, Sebastian is on top by 29 after getting the 37 points from Anakin Skywalker. All right. Anakin can regen over half. Oh, that's right. You're right. I forgot about the R5. Yeah, you can just yeet that out of there. Red probably continues to pursue Rick. Two minutes. Going down to the wire. I'm still kind of questioning that talent roll from Green. I think if he just 4K'd, he would have had more options this turn. He probably still wouldn't have caught anything, but he could have threatened Obi in the middle. Raleigh needs to make sure that he gets an action with Anakin. Get his points back. Also of note, with 53 seconds left, neither player has lost a ship. seconds on the clock running out no reason to rush through this one this is for all the marbles timer has gone off Ollie's ready Suspense, yeah. It's a good one. All right, here we go. Three forward with green over the rock. 
does not get all the way over. So no, you aren't shooting with that chip. See if he loses a shield. He does, but that doesn't matter too much. Huh. Too hard from Zari. Here's the coordinate. Gets a lock into yellow. There's red. The focus. Goes left with Obi and is blocked. His lucky green did not get all the way. Oh, the bump from Anakin. He can't reach in. Oh, no. The four straight from Anakin. Blocked by Obi, which was in turn blocked by Zari. Wow. Obi's got no shot. Anakin could maybe shoot into yellow, but yellow's full health. They are incredulous. He's going to try the five forward. See if that fits, maybe? Nope. Redoes the four forward. Okay. You could shoot in a rose. Um, killing rose only gets you 15, though. Rick's got no shot. Obi's got no shot. You can't. Yeah. Half points on yellow. It's still not enough. You'd have to kill yellow with two dice. It's not possible. Yellow takes two. Here's the shot into Rick. One crit. Rick, full throttle, takes nothing. Uh, there's the hit crit, one evade. Takes the direct hit on Mr. Skywalker, who is no longer with us. I think that first one was Zari. This one is the T70. Is that more into Anakin? Wouldn't it be four dice for Obi? All right. Well, I think that is it. GG. Congratulations to Sebastian. I believe that makes him undefeated in the Premier League.
quite an accomplishment. So thank you to Sebastian. Thank you, Ollie, as well, for a fantastic game. Thank you all for watching. That'll do it for this one. Until next time, this is Scott from Hexile Gaming, signing off.